Hey NBA 2K My League fans, in this video we're going to launch a new NBA 2K My League expansion series. I'm going to walk you through my thinking behind uh, setting it up and what I hope to accomplish. And by the end of the video you're going to know the team that we're going to be controlling, all the management and staff as well as most importantly the players that we're going to start our franchise with as we work our way through the expansion draft and if you're new to the channel I am coach 2k if you love basketball and you love NBA 2k you're gonna love my channel be sure and hit subscribe if you haven't already click the bell to get notified whenever I upload anything new so you don't miss a single NBA 2k video I put out alright so let's get started with this NBA 2k my league expansion series all right, now the first decision I had to make in setting up my My League expansion series was, you know, what roster I was going to use. And you can certainly use the uh, NBA 2K official roster, uh, but I decided to use this fictional roster that was created by Leo Allure on the PlayStation. I absolutely love this roster, and uh, if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know I created a whole fictional My League series around this where I customized all the team names, the arenas, the uniforms, and everything that I could customize, and it's total blast. But the only thing about doing that is that all that customization customization is kind of saved up in the cloud, and so there's a deadline on how long I can use that file, and that's when they shut the servers off. So in this particular version, it'll be at the end of 2020, and I wanted the option to play for a lot longer than that uh, and I'll explain why in just a second and I wanted to make sure that I disconnected this file from having to need to use those online servers so um, I'm going to use this roster again uh, because it was a lot of fun now the big driver probably besides these the fictional roster and how much I love that in wanting to set up this expansion series is because of the fictional draft classes and at my request Leo Aller did me a favor and he created a couple more draft classes and so you're looking at at one of his uh, draft classes that he did here and I wanted to use his draft classes because of uh, his roster edits I really like those the way the players play and so he went in and spent a lot of time working on each of these uh, draft classes they did now he only did two and I want to play much longer than that so there is an additional guy that also worked on some draft classes that I want to talk about now in addition to the two fictional draft classes that Leo Allure put together that I want to take a look at there's another set of eight draft classes I want to look at that were put together by a guy named JB over at Operation Sports Forums. And what's really cool about his draft classes is in addition to like creating the draft class, he does a lot of backstory behind them so you can kind of have a better perspective of what these players did in college or before they went into the pros, which is really neat. Now, the problem I've always experienced or felt like with these files is, is there's so much content that it takes forever to play through it if you're going to play the games, which I like to do. And that probably means the servers are going to be shut off at some point. And if I tried to do that in the fictional My League series that I created before, I'm going to lose it all. And on top of this, there's another guy over at Operation Sports, I think Big Doug Swain, uh, that I want to try his draft classes. But there's only uh, 10 save slots in this version of NBA 2K that I'm using. And so I want to get through several of these draft classes and then save his down too. So it could be even more. But the advantage of doing all that is that I'm going to uh, be able to see these guys' careers play out. And it'll be a lot more fun uh, to have a really deep, long My League series. So that's kind of you know how the players are going to get involved into the roster and what we're going to do roster-wise. Now with the base roster decided and how we're going to do the draft classes and keep good talent coming into the league, the next decision I had to make was well, how we were going to expand the league. Now NBA 2K, uh, this version, which is 19 by the way, gives you six expansion slots 
and they give you some stock teams that you can use. Now I'm only going to do two to start with, one team in the east and one team in the west, and I'm just going to use the stock uh, version of the teams that they provide. And uh, I disconnected my PlayStation from the internet to kind of simulate when they shut the servers off and I was able to continue playing with a file like this. And hopefully I can do this with all six squads eventually, but we're just going to start with two in the east and the west. And uh, that way we can play even after the servers are off. Now, I believe that I can still customize my own team without having to have uh, an online connection as long as I don't do two, you know, if I don't do multiple teams then I won't get into the problem I had with the previous series. And so that's one reason that I'm going to use these pre-built templates so that uh, I'm going to use the teams that are already designed is because I want to be able to play this series indefinitely. So let's look at the two teams that I've chosen. All right, so the first team that we're going to add an expansion and we're going to put in the Western Conference are the Vancouver Ravens. So the Vancouver Ravens, we're going to put them out west. That's the first team we're going to expand. Now the second expansion team is the Cincinnati Lions and we're going to add them to the Eastern Conference and this is also going to be the team that I control in this expansion series. So we're going to try and develop the Cincinnati Lions into one of the premier teams in the league as we go through this series. And then after this, the next step is of course to set up some of the settings so we can create the environment we want while we're playing. Next up is the settings, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about this here. I did a whole video on how to set up a realistic My League, and I'm going to put a link in the corner of the video to that video so you can see a little bit more in depth. But I'm going to use barn cores, um, progression sliders, and injury sliders, and I'm going to use Mike Marsh's uh, gameplay sliders. I used those both in the fictional roster series that I did and I loved them. Uh, the advantage to using like this version of NBA 2K as opposed to the new one is that this version since it's been out for more than a year everybody's had a chance to like edit all the rosters, play with all the settings, NBA 2K has put all their patches out and so you know it's not going to change uh, the environment you're playing in, you know, while you're playing throughout the season. So um, that's the settings in terms of progression and gameplay sliders that I'm going to use. Check out the other video if you want more details. Once everything's set up, then we start getting into the good stuff here. And the way the expansion drafts work is that each team already in the league gets to protect eight players and from their roster. And so most of the good talent's going to be pretty much locked up. And so like here you can see Jerome ba Bailey for the Sixers. He's protected. And then we have uh, 69 rated Sullinger who is unprotected. So this first year is going to be a real struggle because we don't get a draft anybody from, you know, any of those draft classes that we talked about. We're only going to be talking about these players that are kind of, you know, the bench units of each squad. All right, so let's go through how we did in the expansion draft. We used our first pick on a guy by the name of Winston Stackhouse. He's a six foot nine small forward from DePaul University, 76 rated overall. He's got a high work ethic and he's a corner specialist. So that was who we burned our first pick on. Next up was Bonzi Harris. He's a six foot eight center from Texas A&M, 76 rated overall. He's got a couple gold badges there, pick and roller and put back king. Looks like he's a good screener and a real physical player. Next up is Jonathan Myers, six foot nine small forward from Boston College, 75 rated overall. And he's a chase down artist. He's got a defensive stopper badge and He's a posterizer too, so that looks like he might be pretty athletic. Next up is Darren Pack, six foot eleven, power forward from Memphis, seventy-six rated overall, and looks like he's got a mid-range dead eye and a putback king. Next up is Austin Billups, six foot eleven, power forward from Georgia Tech, 
71 rated overall and he likes to keep it real he's a team player and it's probably going to be pretty inconsistent but he is a young guy to give us some youth there i felt like we had a little bit older team than i liked but austin billups looks like a potential raw prospect there from georgia tech next up is freeman frazier i was glad to get a seven footer this guy's from oklahoma state and he's 72 rated overall he's a hustle rebounder put back king and he is a little bit older 30 years old so but we'll have some experience i suppose next up is yang zing six foot seven shooting guard from china deep range dead eye limitless range and so interested to see what kind of uh, production we can get from him in the shooting guard spot next up is calvin hood six foot two point guard He's got uh, the silver teardropper. He's a pick and roll maestro, which will go give with some of the pick and roll bigs we've got. Next up, Sven Melli, six foot two point guard from Greece. Break starter, pick and roll maestro two, rated 70 overall. Next up is Stuart Jennings. He is a six foot four shooting guard from UTEP. Also a younger guy, 25 years old, 68 rated overall. Next up is Glenn Sexton. And Glenn Sexton is a six foot eight small forward from Missouri. Rated 67 overall, mid-range dead eye, catch and shoot. Next up is Thomas Sabalas, six foot two point guard from Oregon State. 69 rated overall. Uh, nice to see he's got some championship DNA. He'll give us some veteran leadership in the locker room. Next player drafted, Blaine Giffey, another seven footer, power forward, 71 rated overall. Uh, looks like he's a mid range dead eye, put back king, pick and popper. And then finally, the last guy we drafted, Sleepy Nene. He is six foot 11. Center, 70, rated overall. Looks like he's got a silver Lob City finisher. Plus, I like that it looks like he's a pretty physical player, too. So that's a roundup of the guys that we chose. Now, I thought it was a little bit older squad than I anticipated. Looks like our youngest guy is 21 years old. And we got a 22 and a 25-year-old. Everybody else, though, we got some guys that are a lot older there. 32 being the oldest age, three guys over 30. So, so it'll be interesting to see what kind of production we can get out of this team in terms of play on the floor. And so let's look next at the staff and who's running this team. All right, so it looks like our CFO is a guy by the name of Devin Bell. Our assistant GM is Sean Tate. Our head coach guy by the name of Gene Macy. Evidently, uh, he goes to the same tailor and barber <laughs> as uh, Sean Tate there. Our assistant coach, Ronald Grady. Our head scout, Jacob Griffith, on a one-year deal. And Harvey Lane is our trainer. Now, we're going to stick with the staff here for the first uh, first year for sure we're not going to make any staff changes we'll try and give these guys an opportunity to prove themselves and see what they have now, in terms of our salary cap position we're 17 million over the cap we're still under the luxury tax threshold by 4.83 million dollars uh, but next year it looks like we've got about 40 million dollars that we could spend uh, that we're going to be under the cap, which will give us quite a bit of flexibility going into next season. Now, our roster uh, after the expansion draft was 14 players deep, but you actually got 15 roster spots that you can fill. I like to build them evenly with three players at each position as their primary uh, position, and we were one player short at the shooting guard spot. So I decided to pick up I guess it's Manuel Garcia from Spain. He's a six foot six shooting guard, 67 rated overall. 
and to uh, add a little bit more depth at the shooting guard spot so that uh, we'd have three players at each spot. And making that move didn't uh, do much to our salary cap in terms of hamstringing us any because we signed him at the league minimum, still under the luxury tax threshold. And next year we'll still have, you know, I think close to, what was it, $40 million in cap space. Okay, it turns out the Lions were added to the Central Division. So we'll get to compete against our Pacers for a division title. And the Ravens were added to the Northwest Division. And uh, what they did was end up realigning the Southwest Division and putting six teams in that uh, division. Then after cleaning up my settings a little bit, we went in and we added, uh, I like to let the draft classes auto-generate and then load in the draft class that I want. And so this is draft class number one that Leo Eller created. So you can see one of the top prospects. <laughs> He's going to make it really difficult for me to kind of pronounce some of these names. It looks like Namanja Ninjai, I guess this is his name. So it's going to be exciting to scout these players during the year to see who we might want to add to our squad because we should have a pretty good pick, I would think, at the end of this first season. All right, so that is uh, the foundation for the NBA 2K My League expansion series. You can see we got our work cut out for us. And so we're going to see if we can have to play better than the ratings show. So as we move through the series, you know, I'll kind of give you some insight on, you know, how I'm preparing the team and trying to keep it realistic every step of the way. And I look for your feedback in the comments. Let me know what you think and what you'd like to see in my series. And uh, you know, hopefully by watching my series, you can get a lot more fun and enjoyment out of your NBA 2K My Leagues. In the meantime, I am Coach 2K. And I'll see you on the court in the next video.